Hi everyone, Alex here. Um, today we are going to be looking at the Bachman HO Scale uh, Charger SC44 Siemens Charger. Um, these are really beautiful locomotives. They retail for $400, I believe, but we got ours for $260 from Train World. I will link it down in the description. So let's get right into the video. <laughs> Alright, here is the locomotive itself. It is in the Amtrak Midwest scheme. There are two other schemes you can get them in, but this is we decided to get the Midwest scheme so we can run a Hiawatha service, just like the one in real life. Um, I put that in one of the other videos I uploaded, I believe, the uh, Hiawatha. So, this is, it's just got the normal Amtrak logo, and then it says Amtrak Midwest. But we're going to look at the side first, we're going to look at the front. Um, I don't know much about these locomotives, I'm going to be completely honest. So, we have the 4611 on either side for number boards. We have windshield wipers, really clear glass uh, with interior details, I believe. Yeah, you can see some seats in there and things like that. Um, we have Chicago, because that's the destination. It does light up, as a matter of fact. Then we have ditch lights that turn white when you're going forward ditch lights turn red when you're going backwards we have some hoses um i'm not sure what these i'd assume that they're ports i'm not sure what they're for we have a brown coupler with a magnetic uncoupling device we have the amtrak midwest logo we have two front headlights here we have two lights on top of the engine that flash white when you're going in either direction and when you click the emergency stop button on your dcc console or controller uh this one will flash then because that's just how stuff works uh turning to the side we have you can see like the interior the engine things like that uh this actually lights up <laughs> it's really cool we have the siemens on it uh we have charger sc-44 Builders, plates, warnings, things like that. Uh, we have a pretty detailed door, some handles, staircase, a mirror F for the direction of this locomotive, the number 4611, and then IDTX. Um, we have some pretty detailed trucks. We have, I don't know, you can make out most of the details, but the, these are molded. It's not bad, though. Uh, we have some interesting type-looking wheels. Um... Then we have the fuel tank with the fuel, um, where you put the fuel on. <laughs> oh gosh, my brain. Uh, some more warnings. You can see the speaker on the bottom there. Uh, wow sound, DCC sound on board. Um, these are metal grates, not anything molded. I believe this one's metal as well. This actually has a really cool texture to it as well, this locomotive. Moving to the back, we have two grab irons, or stepping for stepping. Um, we have some more just warnings, labels, things like that. Looking at the back of the locomotive, we have a headlight and two lights for when you're going in reverse. We have a pretty cool looking door you can see in, but there's nothing to look at. We have some hoses, the ports um some grabs some stairs to actually get into the locomotive i guess they're more like ladders <laughs> and then we have some handles there's a small walkway here so you can actually get onto the locomotive and that's about it same on the other side so we should probably look at the top now we have the horn which sounds really nice we have a set of vents back here above the engine which are metal and you can see the fan two molded vents on the back um we have a vent in the front for the AC, I believe. And that's about it for looking at the locomotive. So let's actually get into running it. All right, so I thought I could actually show you guys me setting it on the track because it starts up right away. Don't mind the uh, trailer trains in the background. Uh, that's my fault. They're perfectly fine. So we're gonna set this locomotive on the track. Oh, uh, properly, I hope. Alright, there you go. I can hear it starting up. <laughs> now we just wait. 
chestnuts going through that. Number 4611, I already have it programmed. Uh, we have the front lights. We can turn on the headlights by pressing the zero or the um, headlight button. Uh, you can see that the Chicago is lit, lit up on the front. Here, let's zoom in a little bit more. The number boards aren't lit up. You can see the white flashing light. I'm going to press emergency stop. You get the huge air brakes, and now the red light is going to flash. Actually, no, I believe it just stays red. You can't tell that's lit up. <laughs> um, it's not very good, but hey, what are you going to do about it? It's not the light that's bad. Here, you know what I can do. Hold on. not lit up now and I was wrong the number boards do light up um all right that's a lot better though so we're gonna move you guys over here you can see the engine from the side we have a tilted tripod that we have to fix now all right there we go all right so you can see the interior lighting up uh if we're gonna pull this locomotive forward a little bit you can see the red lights on the back. And if we actually go in reverse, it has the two lights in the front that light up. And then you will be able to see the red lights at the front. Um, there we go, you can see the red lights. Uh, we're gonna stop this locomotive, we're gonna press one for a bell. It's not a bad bell at all, it actually sounds really good. Um, we're gonna do... Oh yeah, and it has flashing ditch lights too, so that's really cool. Uh, horn, you can press the horn button or two. It sounds really good. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and give this locomotive some speed. You can just see it running. So. Uh, there we go. It's gonna ride off into the... Now I don't know where it's gonna go. But yeah. This is a very nice locomotive. Works extremely well, good speed, amazing light functions. So yeah, this is probably gonna be it for the video, guys. I hope everyone enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video.